Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, traders and potential traders. This is Nuke coming at you with a post-market recap. We've got about 12 minutes left before the end of the day, and I'm going to see if I can finish this out in time to uh, make that deadline. So, a lot of chop fest going on, and then the market finally broke. From our pre-market low, we had a slow and steady buildup. Then at the beginning of the day, things kind of changed a little bit for us. Whoa, get back in there. So right out of the gate, the market dropped down and then came back up to test pre-market highs. Dropped back down, set in. So I drew us out a trend line here. And then I matched out a trend line for the top for the resistance. Then uh, Pacific Standard Time, right about 10.50. The market started to break down, sold off hard, came back to the pre-market high, went back up to retest, could not get above the pre-market, or could not get above the support line, and fell just absolutely hard on its face. And then what did that look like on the daily chart? It was just more of a chop fest. Knew it was coming. We've been up, or up, down, up, down, up, down. Just another red day. You know, we don't know what tomorrow's going to look like, so we'll see. Just, uh, I don't know, total chop fest. All right, so let's go through some of the tickers. We'll go through Facebook as it loads slowly. And what we've seen out of Facebook was in the morning, it was just gained. It come up and retested the pre-market high, came all the way up to the 100% extension, didn't even get up to the 150 percent teetered out came back to that hundred and then started to fall off and then now we're sitting right there at about 60 to 70 percent of the uh, 100 percent extension so what did that look like for us on a daily chart well eek, maybe i went a little too far Always taking things too far, right? So pre-market, or the 100% extension where we're at. You can see we hit some resistance up in here, here, um, you know, kind of in between there. And then our pre-market high, which was here, we were sitting at some good resistance levels. So, I don't know. All in all, Facebook, you can't complain about it. It had a pretty good range of motion today. Just was hard to read. Baba. As we wait on these things to load, God, it's going slow today. All right. Baba today had a lot of pre-market action. And then right at the bell, had a quick pop and then a huge sell-off. Then it kind of gained its ground and it hung up here at the upper end of the upper side of the pre-market high. And then about the same time as all the other ones, it started selling off. What did that look like for us on the daily chart? Let's see, there's our pre-market high, and you can see where this resistance line comes across, and then the pre-market low, right about there, we got a couple of good places of resistance, but they were far back, what, in just the past couple of days, so, yeah, all in all, a lot of movement, but just was a rough call on where you wanted to be you know like you had a couple of big moves but the rest of the day was just a chop fest all right next up apple apple was a solid performer today but it was choppy as all hell just like everything else so all in all didn't break out much above the pre-market high didn't even come back down to the pre-market lows, basically the 50% range on up. And uh, just general chop fest. General chop fest. And we can see here where we're working off the bottom of this candle. And then on the pre-market lows, actually let's come up 50% where this is sitting. Yeah, just ugh, ugly. Right here at the bottom of this candle. So just a crap day for Apple. Tesla. It stayed range bound as well. I mean, you don't get much choppier action than that going back and forth ping pong in between pre market highs and pre market lows. And 
really just didn't set anything on fire today. Not with that kind of performance. Let's see. Right about here is our pre-market high. Our pre-market low. Yeah, just... Eh. Icky, icky, icky. Netflix and chill. I missed my play of the day on this one. Seen it setting up, was waiting on it, and then just wasn't ready to take the trade when it presented itself. So it did have pretty much more range of motion than any of the others. It got out of the pre-market high, hit the 100% extension, came up, came back down to the 100% extension, came up to the 200% extension, and then about 50% of the way into the 300 before coming back down and retesting the uh, 200 but where I missed my trade of the day, and I was waiting for the setup, I just, I was busy doing something else, and I seen it coming, and it was getting right here where I drew out my trend lines, right? So I had a good solid trend line that I, I had a little bit of respect for. This one should be green. I just never bothered to color it in. And um, folks, what had happened, I knew we were getting here, but we were above the range, and then we broke below it. And when I seen we broke above it again, and it just, I knew this thing was ready to go somewhere, right? And when it came down and then it came back up to it, I knew that was my entry point, but I was in the middle of a conversation with somebody. I didn't have much faith left on the day, so I just left it alone. I missed that entry point, and oh, hell, let's see how big of a move it actually ended up being. Uh, $4.21, and then... Yeah, you could have got a little bit more out of it, but I think right here is where I would have gotten out. Um, actually, maybe it was here. But anyway, it was definitely $3 plus movement, and that was the plan, but I just did not execute it. It set up, and I failed to take the shot. And what do they say? We miss 100% of the shots we don't take. So on the pre-market, or the... Uh, Fibonacci, if you compare that to the daily chart where we're at, you can see this was the 200% extension. Really wasn't clear um, other than right up in here. You know, you can see some resistance, and then on a little on the high side, you got one here. Um, but really, no clear cut guidance there as what to expect. And then a little bit higher, you got this one here, and that topped out right here. You know, you can see where that translates across to. So all in all, it had a lot of had a lot of range today. It just was hard to pick out where to get your entry and exits at. That's it for the big dollar tickers. We'll take a look at AMD real quick. AMD, the devil darling, does you dirty and likes to do it. Um, what did she look like for us today? Come on, TOS, don't be mean. Uh, stayed. She had a quick little cover pop and then came back a little over halfway from the pre-market action and then just stayed up in this range. Got a little bit low and then came back. Just it was a rough day if you wanted to play with her. She was not going to do you nice, that's for damn sure. Um, if you cross these lines over, you can see what your resistance looks like. Yeah, just, yeah. Everything's still stuck up in the middle of these Bollinger Bands, not ready to go outside in any sizable manner. Next up from that, we'll take a quick look at Square. Square did hit the 100% extension today. Um, for those of you that were following it, I really wasn't big on Square today. Um, well, come on, treat me right. There we go. You can see it uh, pre-market. It came up and held up to the upper side of the pre-market high. Got up to the 100% extension. Came back down a little bit. Retested, retested. Finally broke it. And then it just kept testing it on the bottom side. And then when the SPY gave way, it finally started to come back down to the pre-market high. So all in all, like you can see, it's still stuck in the middle too. Nothing's really breaking out of these ranges. So hopefully later on today, um, not today, tomorrow, later on this week, 
we see a little more action and things get to go on somewhere. If not, maybe next week will be a better week, right? So that's all I got, guys. Ten minutes and we're done. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me some comments and feedback. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, y'all let me know. If y'all like this simpler is better format. All right, guys. I'm outie.